in this episode, an updated video shoutout that's both easier to implement and with additional functionality of being able to have a preferred age of clip. So we can see here, he's picking up a random clip and it's within a certain age. Hello and welcome to Streamer Bot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Streamer Bot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier for you to get started and to add functionality to your stream. So let's get started with the topic for this video. Firstly, we'll need to set up OBS for the new video shoutouts. If you have this set up already, there's actually no changes you need to do here. You can leave the same scene and source you had before. But if you're new, either use an existing scene or create a new scene. So I'm using my alert scene, which is nested into other scenes here. We're gonna create a source. Use the button here to make it a bit easier. There we go, and browser. And we call this shout outs. So it's worth uh, noting you need to take note of the scene and the source name. Do not select the local file, that needs to be blank. The URL needs to be about colon blank. The width is 800 as default, but the height needs to be reduced to 450 to match the size of the videos that are done through a shout out. Controlling audio by OPS is probably a good option here. And that's all we need to do. To control the audio, you may want to look at the audio mixer for this source and look at the advanced audio properties. I'd recommend monitor only mute output. And that means that both you and the stream should hear it. You may want to mute it also as well. So you can do that by muting that source too. And that's it. You've got the OBS side set up. Configuring them. The fill shout out, you might want to change the wording, but there's no other configuration you need there. The video shout outs, Unlike before, we don't need to go into the execute code for this to work. We just need to set up the three options at the top here. The first one being the, the browser source. And this is shout outs, as we set up before in OBS. The scene. It's not my scene, it's alerts that we set up, so we're going to put that in there. So that to alerts there. The shout out file, you can download this onto your computer and point it at that. By the, the easiest way to set that is to open up in a web browser from your local machine and copy what's in the address bar. It'll be file colon slash slash. And you'll see that format in the message here if you want to run it locally. There's no reason to do so. You can leave it there. And so if there's any updates to that page, you'll automatically get them. Now this final option here, this is new. This is where you tell the bots the preferred maximum age of a clip. So here it's 30 days. So we ideally want to get a clip of the streamer we're shouting out that's had a clip within 30 days. We can increase this or decrease this. Now if we decreased it say to one day and they've not streamed in that last day, the bot's gonna detect that. But it's gonna fall back and then try and just pick any clip. So you want to be you know, considerate of the age. If it's a command just for shouting out raiders, maybe a smaller number would be better for a raid shout out, for example. In queue for that. And so it's gonna edit the properties here. The queue, and it's blocking. So that's a blocking queue, which means if we do multiple shout outs, it'll wait for one to finish before it does the next. Finally, we need to set up a command. And I'd call that command new SO. And the action, of course, is going to be the video shout out. And I'm going to limit that to moderators. And now to test. So I'm going to use the command we set up, new SO. I'm going to set the streamer. I picked myself, of course. It's going to show the display picture for a second. Pull in a random clip. And 
I'm gonna do another one afterwards as well. You can see it's uh, it's all playing the clip for the length of the clip only. It keeps it uh, working for that duration. So the shout out is recommended to be in the queue. Let's uh, just gonna run it like this for now. See another clip. And finally, I'm going to go through the video shout out and to explain what it's doing. So we're setting globals for the shout out source in the browser and the scene. This is an easy way so you can configure it here without having to change the code. Again, doing the same for the shout out file and the option for the number of days that we want to have the clips within. First thing we're doing is we're getting the target information. So this is getting the information from Twitch. So we can get things like the display picture, which we'll use. If that's not retrieved correctly, then we're going to fail because it's not going to be a case of this isn't a streamer. And if the game isn't set, it's unlikely it's a streamer as well. We then pull in the custom shout out if the custom shout out code is put in place. Then we send a message, which is a typical shout out message, which you can also customize. Finally, we execute the code. So this is the Shearshot code. Again, we don't need to do anything with, apart from the default references, it just works. So what we're doing here is we're pulling in the variables that we've defined in the actions. So the shout out scene, the browser source, and the shout out file, putting in some details like the target user, which is actually going to be the um, pull from the Twitch get information for user. And then we're going to do the clips within days. This line isn't there and it won't be there when I do the final imports. So that's a, something I left in by mistake. We're going to create two dates and times. So we're going to do the current time now and then the start date, which is going to be now, but we change the start date to be back in time by the number of days. So we end up having two dates of a range that we want to. So if you want to customize this further, so maybe you want to just get old clips, you could look for clips maybe between 30 days and a year, or is there any clips that are over a year old? So what it does then, once we've got the date range, we're going to call the, all, um, the get clips for user and put it into the resultant all clips. Now we pass in the username here, the start date and the current date. Now we may put in uh, a poor number so we don't actually have any clips returned. We need to handle that. So if the clips count of them is zero, then we'll just do a standard get the clips. And if after that we still get zero, actually that streamer doesn't have any clips at all and then we need to fall that back out. We then pick a random number of between zero, which is where the random clips, um, the, all, all the clips numbers start on the list of them, starts at zero and it picks a number between that and the total number of clips. And then we say the random clip is something for more clips from that random number which is injected in here. We then set the arguments or the details we may need at some point. Now you can use these arguments within uh, later functions if you want to do to extend on top of this. So we've got the broadcaster, the title, the URL, duration, the user who created the clip, the view count of the clip, and the thumbnail URL as well of the clip. It's got a lot of information. There's some additional parts here which um, we may need to use in the future depending on if how Twitch changes APIs. So that's there just in case. We then are building up a URL. So the random clip embed URL, which is also in the settings, we, we pull that in. Um, sorry, no, we... Yep, the random clip.url. Yep. 
So the, ra the random clip.url, we then start changing around for, for use later on. Now the video player file, we've already defined that up top here from the global settings. And then we add things like the user for the broadcaster name, the image, the target profile image URL, the video URL, and the thumbnail URL as well. Uh, the last thing we do is we need to work out the delay to pass along because it, the video player itself has an idea of the, the length of time, but we can actually do some more fun things with, um, with knowing the timing and passing that on correctly. So we create a delay, start with the 700, which is uh, the approximate time it takes for everything to start up and load in uh, loading the clip. And then we get the duration, which is in seconds, multiply it by 1000 to make it milliseconds. So the delay is the amount of time that the web page needs to wait. So what we can do is after that delay, rather than showing the last screen of the, the video, we can hide everything. So it looks really clean. We then push to OBS, go to this scene, which is the browser for the shout out within so, um, the source, which is the actual browser source there, and the video player file, which we built up here. Then we wait for two, two seconds above the time of that, just to make sure there's no problems with loading and finishing. And finally, we set the browser source back to about blank and finish the function there, which then completes the action. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or on Discord. Check out my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. The links to my Twitch, social media and to streamer bots can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be also found in the description. Finally, thank you Nate for making a great bot and please consider supporting his Patreon which is linked from streamer.bot.